Whenever you're ready. Okay, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to this YouTube channel. For those of you who've uh, not visited it before, uh, this is Peter of England coming to you from uh, England this time. Uh, today, what I'd just like to explain to you uh, is the, uh, the illusion of democracy. Um, very quickly, uh, within the next, say, 10 minutes, just to try and explain why uh, the politicians like you to go to the ballot boxes and to vote for them, um, and why your parents and your parents' parents have all led you to believe that the only way to change things is through the system. But the problem is with democracy is that it isn't a democracy because the individuals, whether they're congressional representatives in the United States or whether they're parliamentarians in uh, the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth region, uh, they have to first be selected by the, the, the parties themselves at their regional offices. And there's a very, very tight screening process. They want yes-men, and they want these yes-men to become made men, just like in circles with the Mafia. Um, they are very selective, and they know the type of animal that they want to bring in. Once the individual is elected and he's returned then, and he goes to Washington in the United States, or if he goes to um, the Houses of Parliament in Westminster, what you find then is, very soon, he is he's basically told by the whips... Um, and the, uh, the, uh, the what, whips in England, I don't know what they're called in America, on how to vote. If they become too rebellious and resist um, these, uh, these party mandates or dictates, they soon find a lot of pressure being put on them, and there's a very good chance that they'll be deselected for the, for, for the, next, uh, the next elections. So, the cabinet, for example, in the United Kingdom is uh, a cabinet office which has no statutory or other lawful right to exist. It's almost like a little private table of the Prime Minister. And it's the cabinet that make the decisions, don't forget, within the United Kingdom. And these models have been transposed around the world and a very similar practice is engaged whether it's in, in the Federal Republic of uh, Germany or whether it's in uh, Australia, New Zealand, or uh, South America. The same models prevail. So what you then have is committees and um, lobbyists coming together to make policy decision that then gets presented into the Parliament or Congress and it's voted upon. So as you see, in any of these areas there are non-experts, there are compromised, totally compromised, congressional members, senators and parliamentarians who are voting on things that the only rationale behind it is so they can keep their job, keep their pensions and keep them in a comfortable lifestyle. In effect, most of them can be bought, most of them have been bought. Now, the main thing that you've got to identify is that from the time that you were born, you've been born into a United States or the United Kingdom uh, bankruptcy uh, model. In 1931 the United Kingdom was bankrupted by being pulled off the gold standard and the same model with the Gold Confiscation Act in 1933 by President Roosevelt ensured that from that moment on you didn't have the right to pay with gold and silver. From that point on you had to pay with fractional reserve notes. And these notes are promissory notes issued by the Federal Reserve or the Bank of England. And what you must realise is a promise to pay or give always implies that you do not have the asset there and then. So the promissory notes, which used to say we promise to pay the bearer upon demand the sum of $5 in gold or £5 in gold, had the gold removed, and so it just then became a promise to pay. So, from 1931, 1933, in effect, the world has been bankrupted. 
From these points on, particularly from 1944 with the Bretton Woods Agreement and then after the war when the Bank of International Settlements took over the financial regulation of the world, in effect, and the United States dollar became the world reserve currency, what we found now is that all of you, from the moment you receive your birth certificate, become a ward of the state. You are birthed into a hospital. You are basically then treated as abandoned property under maritime law, and because of the bankruptcy, you are impliedly living under an antecedent, implied, sim simple or naked contract to perform. And as you do not revoke this contract, then the contract runs, and no matter how you protest and demonstrate, the bottom line is, you'll end up in the court, you'll end up being batoned over their head by the police, outside uh, Wall Street or outside an embassy because they treat you as a ward of the state, uh, a chattel, a slave, and they own you. The only way we suggest that you can get out of this is to make a declaration to the government and to the universe that you have become a realized being, you've educated yourself, you may have made errors or mistakes in the past, but now you revoke them. And there is a, a, a mandate or an expression in Latin which is called nunc pro tonc, which basically then would say everything that should have been done is then treated as having been done. This will give you a freedom and an ability to say to the state that I have revoked the implied social contract that you have over me that says I must pay taxes to pay off the engineered bankruptcy debt which keeps me in slavery and servitude to the bankers who own the politicians. So with this in mind, if you find that any of this touches a point within you or uh, it, it, it pulls at that little part in your soul that you feel there could be some truth in it, then I assure you that if you follow our model, it will bring you success, it will bring you protection, because unless you ask, it cannot be given. And for those of you who might believe in a more ethereal, spiritual rationale behind this, or for those of you who might believe in God if you're spiritually minded or religiously minded, and for those who might believe in extraterrestrial possibilities, then there could be a hierarchy that is only waiting for you to release yourself and ask for the help. Once you've done it, I assure you, the help will be given, but until you do, they can't help you at all because you're proceeding under a democratically so-called elected model and the others, the darker side, if you will, the Obamas, the Blairs, um, the Merkels, the Sarkozy's, the Hollands, whoever of this world, are all operating under that mandate of um, supposed democratic right to herd you, corral you, kill you, market you, sell you, and basically brand you, do whatever they want with you, um, and you really don't have anything to say about it. And the model from the past shows that you don't have anything to say, because if they were ready to take notice, I think they should have taken notice by now. But what they do is, they put people, troops, on the street against you, and you look at the modern policeman on the street, and he's got a helmet, he's got protective armour, he's got a shield, he looks like a Roman soldier or someone out of the film Spartacus. And he's up against you. So, it's a battle zone. It looks like a battle zone. You are considered an enemy combatant. And uh, maybe we should do something about it. What do you think? Get in touch with us through the email uh, address that you can find either through the blog, which is Freeman Legal Services, or Freeman Legal. I uh, can't remember now. We'll, we'll put it up again. Uh, on the, uh, on, the, on the channel. So follow us on the YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, Peter of England's on Facebook, and please contact us through freemanlegalservices.com. 
and we will take this through the courts where we will beat them hands down because we bring and deliver the truth. Um, they march forward under a banner uh, through a thin, tinny tune of treachery and deceit and uh, a hierarchical independence on fear. Um, and I think uh, we can do something better. So, Peter of England here, signing off. Thank you. Don't forget to press the subscribe button so we keep you updated uh, on our future videos. Thank you. Okay. Can you just move that way? Because I want to do an edit. Because at the start...